Wynn is live from Modesto with the preview. Hi, Nat. Good morning. Yeah, this is kind of really awesome. I was talking with the organizers about this workshop with Carrie Keys, super famous. Miss, I mean, I learned recently, but some of the names that she worked with are huge. But this workshop is prompted because there are, I think, less than 5% of women actually make up the total number of sound engineers that there are out there. To tell us a little bit more about this workshop and why they're doing this is Victoria. She's one of the organizers behind this. Victoria, come over here and tell us all about Carrie and what you guys are doing and why. So Carrie Keys is a veteran sound engineer. She is the sound monitor engineer for Pearl Jam and Eddie Vedder. And together with Michelle Petrononi, she was able to start soundgirls.org, uh, which was founded in 2012. And their goal was to, you know, bring all the girls together in sound to talk about their frustrations, you know, things, do's and don'ts, and how to get more girls into live sound. So now with the partnership between Northern California Women's Music Festival and soundgirls.org, we're able to bring a live sound workshop to this area, to the Central Valley, which is great because this is something that you wouldn't see around here. You'd have to go to San Francisco or to LA to have a live sound workshop, but now we are bringing this to the valley. So it's a great opportunity for young women. No, it is. So can you tell us a little bit about, because the workshop's not going to be actually till July, so there's still plenty of time to sign up. You guys are also offering, I think, five scholarships, right? Can you tell us a little bit about what people can expect in this workshop? They're learning all about what it takes to put on a production, right? Yes. So Carrie Keys will be able to take these girls through a journey of uh, running live sound for some of the bands that will be here during the workshop. And um, they'll learn what it takes to be in a band. Um, what it takes to be a live sound engineer. They're also going to put together a toolkit, and Carrie has put together a girl's guide to doing sound. So that's what they're going to take away from this. Plus, they're going to be able to run live sound for an actual venue. That's what I was saying is really neat. When we talk about kind of doing workshops and learning life skills, that they can actually apply, right? Can you tell us real quickly about the event? I think we have this little flyer we can show people too about when it is. Yes, yeah, so it's October, I'm sorry, it's August 1st, and it will be on the Stanislaus River outside of Oakdale. It's a private event, but the girls will run sound all day. They'll take shifts during the day, and we have many bands that are playing. How many bands do you have playing, Jen? Uh, 50. So we have 50 bands over the course of that weekend. But on that Saturday, they'll run it from the morning until the evening. So. so a lot of opportunity here for these young girls. And again, scholarships are, are available. I think we talked about they have at least until a week before, is that right? The right. workshop yes. actually starts to turn in their applications? Exactly. So in the second week, we'll cut off the uh, scholarship application process. They basically just need to write a letter to us, and they can send it to um, Northern California womensmusicfestival.com. You can go to that site and um, submit it on there. Now, Wynn is live from Modesto with the preview. Hi, Nat. Good morning. Yeah, this is kind of really awesome. I was talking with the organizers about this workshop with Carrie Keys, super famous.